Question 3c. Let g be the function defined by g of x is equal to f of x minus x. On what intervals, if any, is g decreasing for 0 to 7? Okay, so we want to know where g is decreasing. That means we need to know a g prime. Okay, so g decreasing, and maybe I'll make a note of that. g decreasing here means g prime is equal to a negative value. So one of the keys to this problem is that we're going to need to differentiate notation because g is defined with the, using the f of x notation. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to calculate g prime. So g prime is going to be f prime of x. Now conveniently, f prime is given over here. We have the graph of f prime, and then we're going to end up with minus 1. Okay, so maybe I'll just do that in black here. So g prime of x is equal to f prime minus 1. So we want to know where it's decreasing. So we need to know where it's going to change direction. So we need to solve for some zeros here. So we need to figure out where g prime of x is equal to 0. That's going to be where f prime of x is going to be equal to 1. And f prime of x is equal to 1 along here. So it's going to be equal to 1. Let's get that. It's going to be equal to 1 at x equals 5. See that it's equal to 1 here at x equals 5 and at x equals 7. Okay, so I'm going to do my slope chart here at x equals 5, x equals 7, I have 0 slope. And really I just want to know where it's decreasing, so I just need to see where this, what the slopes are in these different regions. We have an endpoint at x equals 0, so we don't need to worry about anything beyond that. And we can kind of see that if f is bigger than 1, it's going to be positive. If Sorry, f prime is bigger than 1, it's good. g prime is going to be positive. If f prime is less than 1, it's going to be negative. If we're not sure about that, we can just test some coordinates. So I'm going to test g prime at 4. Well, g prime at 4 is going to give me f prime minus 1. So f prime is 0, minus 1 is negative. So we know that at x equals 4, we're going to have negative slope like that. We can test x equals 6, so g prime at 6. We can see that the f prime value is going to be equal to 2. Minus 1 is going to give us positive slope, so we know that at x equals 6, we have positive slope, so it's going to look like that. So the portion of the graph that's going to give us this decreasing is going to be in this region here, decreasing all the way through here. So from 0 to 5 is our decreasing region. Okay, so decreasing in the interval from 0 to 5. Part D says the function D, G is defined in part C. For the function G defined in part C, find the absolute minimum value on the interval 0 to 7 and justify your answer. Well, we're going to justify our answer by using a candidates list. And the candidates are going to be any uh, critical points, endpoints. So we have endpoints at 0 and 7, so I put my endpoints in my candidates, candidates list, and the critical point we have is our local minimum value at x equals 5, so I'm going to test the y value at x equals 5. Now we need to find g of 0, g of 5, g of 7, and we can do that based on the fact that if we know what f of 0, f of 5, and f of 7 is, we can calculate the g value. And we've been given from part A, we calculated f of 0 is equal to 3 plus 2 pi, f of 5 is equal to 3.5. So I'm going to 
start with that. I'm going to start with calculating my g of 0. So g of 0 is going to be equal to f of 0 plus, minus 0. Okay, so my f of 0, I calculated in the first part as 3 plus 2 pi. So my g of 0 is going to be 3 plus 2 pi. I move on to f of phi, a g of 5. So I'm going to calculate g of 5. I'm going to do that using f of 5 minus 5. Well, I need to have f of 5 defined, which I do. f of 5 is equal to 3.5 minus 5. And that gives me negative 1.5 as my y coordinate. Okay, so that's going to be my lowest point so far. I now need to find g of 7. But before we can find g of 7, I need f of 7. So I'm going to go back to my original definition here. Okay, so to find the, if I want to find the, the area under the curve, if I want to find f values, I need to start at my fixed point, x is 4, y is 3, and then find the area of the curve from 4 in this case, 4 to 7. So when I define my f value, so f of 7 is going to be equal to the starting coordinate of 3. Okay, so the starting coordinate was 3 plus the area under the graph from x is 4 to x is 7 under the f prime graph. So then if I go to my f prime graph, I want to know the area from 4 to 7. So I go to my f prime graph. The area under this graph from 4 to 7 is going to be this area here. Okay, I'm going to break it up into its triangle area. So that's going to be 2 by 2 divided by 2. And the trapezoid area, that's going to have an area of 1.5. So that area underneath the curve from 4 to 7, this area here is going to be equal to positive 3.5, okay, which, I've, which is what I've calculated here. So just plugging that in then, I'm going to get, this is going to be equal to my original 3 plus, this area in here is going to be 3.5, which I calculated from my graph. So f of 7 is equal to 6.5. Now, I'm not done because I don't really want f of 7. I want g of 7. But once I know f of 7, g of 7 is going to be calculated by f of 7 minus 7. So plugging in my f of 7, my f of 7 I've calculated to be 6.5 minus 7, that's equal to negative 0 0.5. So my g of 7 is equal to negative, negative 0 0.5. Putting that in my candidates list, I now have all the candidates I need to compare. So I can see that g of 5 is going to be my lowest point. So the minimum occurs, find the absolute minimum value, the absolute minimum value is equal to y equals negative 